All right, check it out. Listen, we've got a question for you. This is a common question we get all the time. Should you buy or should you lease? Now look, this is a, it, it's not necessarily a complicated question, but there's a lot of factors that go involved in it. I, do, I will tell you, I've always been a bit, pretty big proponent of leasing because there's so many advantages and there's so many options you have at the end. I will go through those with you real quick. I mean, obviously when you lease a car, you do have four options at the end of the lease. You can, you can trade the vehicle in, you can turn it in, you can buy the lease, or you can actually sell the lease. Now again, there's a lot of ways you can go through that. Let's talk about selling the lease first. You've got a website called swapalease.com as an example. Uh, you're done with your lease or you have a 36 month lease and maybe you're 17 months into it. You're ready for something else. You can simply go on and either A, advertise the vehicle yourself, call up the bank, see what you owe on it, ask for what you owe a little bit more if you'd like to make a little bit of profit or just want to get out of it and you can sell it just as easy as that. If you put it on swap a lease, there are people looking every single day that would love to pick up your lease payments and they get you in and out and that's an option for you. Now you can trade it in. Now this is a, a, a one that's very common and a lot of people think when they trade in a lease that it's different than a purchase. I gotta tell you from the inside scoop, being a car dealer, it's no different to us. We look at what the car is worth based on the miles that are on it, the condition it's in and how it looks, bottom line. So we give it a value and then there's a payoff and in a conventional finance, it's the same exact way. You have a payoff and we appraise the car the same way. So again, looking at the trade-in is a great option for you. You could also buy it. Now again, this option, in my opinion, for whatever it's worth, if you buy the lease, know up front that you're gonna pay more for the car than probably you should if it's from the very beginning. It's still an option for you. The way I look at it is what better used car to buy than the car you've been driving for three years. No worries, you know how it's been kept. So there is some advantages there. So again, you have some options with the lease, right? You can turn it in, you can sell it, you can trade it, or you can buy it. The last one is turn it in. This is one that, you know what, if you stay within the miles constraint, you can turn the lease in and walk away basically with nothing but maybe a $250 disposal fee. But what I will share with you though, when you're turning a lease in, the thing you gotta be careful of is, is one of the advantages of leasing is that you can you can actually drive the car as long as you want to, even though there's a mileage constraint. So again, when you're looking at both options, if, you, if you're not gonna drive the miles that it's allotted from the beginning, 12,000, 15,000, however you structure it, turning it in would not be the good option for you. But if you're one that you just took it to and from work and you're under your miles, it's a no-brainer. Now, take conventional finance. They're great, great options, what everybody does for the most part. There's several options that people do in terms of terms. Believe it or not, nowadays, 60 month finance is a conventional finance, but they go, some banks will go 66 months, 72 months, 75 months, 84 months. You wouldn't believe me if I told you some banks go 96 months. I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of consumers are looking for payment relief. Some people are willing to do that. Again, we don't do many of those. We go 72 months, sometimes 75, depending on the manufacturer program. So again, the really choice is up to you. Now, comparing the two, which one should you do? In my opinion, I, I would always say in, in, a, in a large, um, most of the times I would go ahead and I would definitely uh, lease a vehicle if you trade every three or four years, okay? If you know you're gonna, but if you're one that buys a car and, and drives it till it dies, you would never wanna consider a lease, ever, okay? Now, one thing I will tell you in the state of Georgia, since they changed the tax laws to the TAVT laws, again, the benefit of leasing in the, in, before this law came out is you used to pay tax on the payment. So if you lived in 7%, it was a $200 payment, you paid 14 bucks a month. It's not so much the same anymore. Now you pay tax on the future market value and they're work on changing these laws, but if you're buying a $20,000 car and that tax comes out to 2,300 bucks, if you divide that 2,300 bucks by 36 months, that's roughly 55, 60 bucks a month. That all of a sudden changes the dynamic because now what you can buy one for, what you lease one for, you know what, you may be better off buying it because the payment's gonna be cheaper and you're gonna pay a little less in that capacity. So. Again, I hope this has helped you. I hope this has been a little informative. I think leasing is a great option, but you do need to look at the tax laws. Depending on what state, if you're here in the state of Georgia, obviously you may want to take a real hard look at it. Look at your driving patterns, okay? Don't be afraid of leasing. Leasing is a great option. I've been doing it for many years, okay? And again, if you want to know where that best deal is at, remember Louis Heron Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Madison, Georgia will be anybody's deal by $500 or we'll pay you $5,000. That's louisheron.com or you can call us at 706 991 1900. Look, we love to earn your business. Beautiful Madison, Georgia, a beautiful day. Come check us out. We love to earn your business.